What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a plugin for Revit that can actually generate a rebar shape image for any type of rebar that you can model in Revit. So it's up to you just to model the, the rebar shape and then this plugin will just, uh, just generate a rebar shape image which you can use inside of your rebar schedule. Uh, now I came across this uh, plugin when I was creating my reinforced concrete uh, structures masterclass and if you want to check that course out I'm going to link it just below in the description of this video and then also up in the cards above. Uh, now, I was actually introduced to this uh, plugin by a colleague of mine, uh, and uh, he has uh, developed uh, this uh, really cool template for uh, reinforced concrete. He's actually an expert in reinforced concrete. He's a civil engineer. He has been working on many kind of real world projects. And uh, while working on these projects, he has developed this template and it's actually available on my website if you wanna get it. Uh, also that I'm going to include it in the description of this video and in the cards above so you can check it out. Uh, so he has introduced me to this plugin. I actually have, uh, if, if you get a template, there is actually just a video tutorial uh, for, this, uh, for this plugin. Uh, but I thought, why not have just a YouTube tutorial? I think it's a really cool plugin. It's a free plugin so anybody can get it and it does do a really good job. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, so without any further uh, ado, let's jump straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit. So I'm just going to go here to models and start a new project. And uh, now for the template file, as I said, I'm going to be using that concrete and reinforced uh, and reinforcement template. So I'm just going to select that and then hit open. Uh, and what you'll see as part of this template, uh, you're going to get some uh, schedules. Uh, so this is really cool. Uh, you can see here in schedule, you have these template schedules uh, and you have schedules and summaries. Uh, and for example, for rebar schedules, you have three types. Uh, you have for rebar couplers, wire meshes, and so on. So that's all kind of part of this particular template. Uh, and uh, for all of the rebar shapes that you have uh, inside of the template, you already have uh, rebar images. So that's something that's included here. Uh, now, obviously, uh, rebar images can be loaded in. You can find them online, uh, but they are usually limited. Uh, you will have rebar images for some kind of more common rebar shapes, uh, but when we're talking about some uh, more kind of rare uh, rebar shapes, something that might be particular to the exact project you're working on, uh, well, in that case, uh, that uh, rebar image isn't going to work because you're probably going to be uh, modeling that rebar as kind of a, a sketch in place. Uh, rebar uh, so, or sketch the shape rebar. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you on a practical example uh, how this works. Uh, now talking about the plugin, uh, here you can see it's called the BIM Studio plugin uh, and uh, the tool that we're using uh, is the uh, rebar image tool. I am going to link it up uh, below this video in the description and also in the cards above so if you want to download it you can get it for, for free. So that's cool. Anyways, uh, let us now get started. So I'm just going to go here and let's open up uh, structural uh, plans level one and then here uh, let's create a beam. So I'm just going to go here to the structure tab and go to beam and I'm just going to create a concrete uh, beam, very simple straightforward, just one line, there we go, we have our beam. Uh, okay, so now in order to view the beam, uh, let's create a couple of sections. So for these sections, I'm just going to have one going like this and then another one uh, going like so. Uh, and let's open up one of them. So let's open up this one. Uh, now what you'll see uh, for these sections, when we create these sections, uh, they will uh, not be classified. So you can see we have these kind of question marks here. Uh, that's because we have a very customized project browser. So when you create a new view like this section here, uh, it's usually a good idea to categorize that. So uh, this will be, let's call this, uh, this will be on level one because that's where our uh, beam is. Okay, for the uh, view type number two, this is uh, rebar actually. 
Okay, perfect. And then this is obviously a beam. So this is basically how you categorize the view. And as you can see, now here we have under rebar on level one, we have this beam and we have this section. And then we can do the same thing for the other section. So if I open up the other section uh, here, I can simply just go and select here. So that's level one, uh, that's re rebar, and that's also a beam and apply. And there we go. So it's categorized exactly there. Okay, now let's add the rebar itself. So for rebar, we can just go here to rebar and let's Let's see. Okay, we can use something like this. Add that shape here. Hit the escape key a few times. Perhaps make it fine level of detail. There we go. And then for the layout, uh, let's go with maximum spacing at, I don't know, like 300 millimeters. I think that works. Uh, okay, so once we have this in place, let's switch to the other section and let's switch this to fine level of detail as well. And now for the rebar here, let's do something different. Let's do something a bit more interesting. So I'm going to go to rebar and then instead of picking out one of these shapes here, uh, because for these shapes we already have uh, rebar images, I'm just going to create a custom shape by going to sketch rebar. So I'm just going to select this beam and then I, I can create a sketch and then I can be as crazy as I want to be. So I can go like that, I don't know, go like this. Obviously you wouldn't see a rebar like this, but yeah, I can, I can do whatever I want. So I'm just going to go, I don't know, like that. So here we have some, I don't know, crazy rebar shape. Uh, and then let's hit finish. Obviously this wouldn't work, but I'm just trying to give you like as crazy as possible <laughs> in terms of uh, examples. So once we have created this, uh, this rebar shape. Uh, now it's time to generate uh, a schedule that's going to uh, have rebar images uh, or images for rebar shapes. And I'm going to be using the rebar image tool to generate those images. Uh, so let me show you how that works. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just go here to schedules. And instead of using one of these uh, existing schedules, I'm just going to create a new one just because I want to show you some uh, just basically how this uh, plugin works. So I'm just going to go down to structural rebar. Okay. Uh, and now for the fields, uh, let's go with the uh, family and type, for example, and then let's add all of the image parameters that we have. So here, what you'll notice is we have this image. So we have that. Uh, then we should have another one. Let's see, we have a shape image and we have a type image. So these are all of the parameters that include, well, images uh, for rebar shapes. So this is what we're going to include in our schedule. And now I can just uh, click OK, and that's going to create a schedule. You can see this is the schedule. And actually, let's place it on a sheet. So new sheet, yeah, let's go like that, perfect. Uh, and then here for schedules, oops. Okay, here we go. We have that schedule. Again, I haven't categorized it, so uh, this is what it looks like. But obviously, if I did categorize it, uh, uh, if I kind of add, oops, let's open up that schedule. Okay, so if I were to enter all of these fields, uh, it would be kind of categorized correctly. So for example, schedule, rebar, I don't know. And now it's in the correct place. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's now go back to the sheet and also let's place our views here so I can place our section and this section as well. So uh, we have our views and we have our schedule. And what you'll see now is that with uh, the rebar shapes that you get, uh, the image is going to be part of the uh, shape image parameter. Uh, and we have used this, uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, rebar shape here, uh, the, the repeating one. Uh, and as you can see for that one, because we have used one of the existing ones, we do have that uh, shape image. Uh, now for the other one, so that's the, the weird one that they have created, obviously we don't have a shape image. So now let's, uh, let's actually create that shape image. So I'm just going to go here to rebar image. Uh, but first we have to select the rebar. So let's double click here, select this and this. And then we can go to BIM Studio, 
rebar image. So it's going to open up a dialog. Uh, here you have some options uh, in terms of setting up the dimensions of uh, just the, the image itself uh, and also of the text or the font. So you can set everything up here. I'm going to leave it up to you to kind of play around with it if you want. And then also you can set up the, the folder path and you can also check this in order to, to save this image on your desktop if you want. I don't want, so I'm just going to click create. Uh, this doesn't exist. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, I have set up a different path. So now if I click create, now it's going to work. And as you can see, it has created the rebar shape images. Now, something that you'll notice here is an error or, well, it's not actually an error. Uh, this is something that's going to fail an issue with the uh, with the plugin that they have noticed and that's the fact that uh, if you have especially in situations where you have kind of these extra long shapes uh, it might create it kind of uh, vertically like so and then the image is really really small so this can be uh, a little bit annoying uh, so you can kind of fix it but not really uh, so for, for example if, if you were to kind of try to fix this uh, you could go to uh, again to BIM Studio. Let's select that same rebar shape again. Okay, uh, rebar image and then image height. We can reduce the width to I don't know like a thousand and go here to six thousand for example. So perhaps this could be a solution just to make it a bit vertical and then to create and then as you can see it's a uh, it's a little bit bigger it can be a little bit annoying because uh, you cannot set up the rotation at least i haven't found out how to set up this rotation but you will what you will see is the fact that you get actually dimensions for each segment of this uh, we even have angles here at uh, kind of the where where you have the bends uh, and all of the distances so uh, i think it's really useful the fact that we can kind of generate the, the the shape image of pretty much anything that uh that, that we can sketch so uh you don't have to go and create the image yourself uh this plugin can do it for you obviously as i have shown you it does have some issues uh, but you can get around them by changing the uh, the size of the images themselves so as a free plugin i think it's a uh, it's very well worth it uh, and uh, if you if you kind of uh, don't mind the the issues i think you, you can find it really useful so anyways, uh, that's the tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, and if you want to check out the uh, template or the entire uh, kind of co concrete or reinforced concrete course, uh, I recommend checking out my website, so balkanarctic.com. It's going to be just below this video in the description. So thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.